We drove 500 miles round trip to Berg's Corner in Stonewall, Texas for the best peaches in the world so we could make this. Yes, a peach cobbler. And yeah, it was fantastic. Let me show you how I make it on Darlene's table. I have been busy. Peach cobbler. That's what I'm going to make today. The peaches were a little small, so the recipe called for eight peaches. I used 12. To that, I'm going to add a quarter cup of brown sugar and a quarter cup of regular sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, three teaspoons of cornstarch, and some freshly grated nutmeg. Fresh grated nutmeg tastes so much better than the already ground up store bought. I believe that's enough. Save that little nutmeg kernel. All right, now we're going to mix it well. And then it's going to go into this dish and it's all by itself no crust yet this is going to go into the oven at 425 for about 10 to 12 minutes get it hot now in the oven for about 10 15 minutes all right while the peaches are in the oven getting hot we're going to make the dough that goes on top. So we're going to use one cup of flour, quarter cup of brown sugar, and a quarter cup of white sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm going to add six tablespoons of unsalted butter. I grated, just using a cheese grater part of it, and cut the rest up in little chunks. this. Very similar to a pie crust. Okay, I've mixed this butter well with the flour and sugar combination. Now you add a quarter cup of boiling water. I know you're thinking, uh-oh. But it does work well. It's going to be like a dough. It does not melt all the butter. You can still see small pieces of butter. All right. Now, we'll get the peaches out of the oven. And you can see that they're hot. I have the oven at 425. Now I'm gonna start dropping teaspoons of this dough on top. It's not like a biscuit. All right, this is the cinnamon sugar mixture. I mixed it exactly per the recipe. And we're going to generously put this all over. All right. Now I'm back into the oven, 425 for 30 minutes. Oh, this is going to be so good. Hear how crunchy that's going to be? Okay, let's cut some out. Oh, those beautiful peaches, and I just made a mess, didn't I? Oh, I'm going to put a few more peaches and some juice on top of this. You can use canned peaches to do this. It is better with these fresh peaches. All right, 
Let's try this. Shall we? Mmm. That's so good. So please give this a try and send me a comment. And if you like the video, give us a like and consider subscribing. And ring the bell so you will be notified when I upload a new video. Anyway, as we say in Texas, y'all have a blessed day.